Hey there Spartans, welcome back to Halo Cannon. Today, a new Nightfall trailer was released, and uh, as I've done in the past, I'm going to go over it, uh, do my trailer breakdown, you know, live uh, stream of consciousness kind of thoughts, so nothing scripted here, just my thoughts as I, as I have them, more or less, through watching the trailer. Obviously, I've had a whole day to really think about these, so... Um, I've had a lot more, you know, a lot more ideas going through my head that I might be able to share. But um, I know these have been popular in the past, so uh, sit back and enjoy. Death will come to all of us, especially soldiers. You give your life away, so others will live. And take life where only God can give it. Some very, very beautiful opening shots there. So we got, you know, what I would presume is Locke, or just generic soldier, you know, walking across the surface of the Halo ring, and, uh, you know, just kind of exploring, get some nice look at the armor, the very unique armor they're wearing. I don't know if I've talked about this in any past videos I've done about Nightfall, but they do have this kind of pseudo ODST armor, which I don't know if that's like, you know, if that's supposed to be something like some new ODST armor, if that's some uh, Oni special armor. I, I do hope we find out that'd be, but I definitely like the design. I wouldn't mind it more pure ODST armor, but this is really kind of cool. I like the design. The color fits well with the uniforms and the setting and all that. Um, and of course, we get this nice little uh, brief scare, you know, someone getting dragged across the ground. Um, it looked like the female character whose name and actress, I, or act, you know, character name or actress name, I can't remember off the top of my head. But, um, yeah, so, you know, they're really setting up. It's all. It's very as as has been said on many a board. It's very alien feeling. Very Ridley Scott um, in a lot of ways. But so let's keep going. And of course, again, we get that beautiful shot of the destroyed Halo or um, the partly destroyed Halo ring. Um, in case you haven't kept up with, uh, with news about Halo, about, um, Nightfall, I'll give you the quick, you know, backstory on why the, about this ring. It's, it's near this colony that they go to. I can't remember the name of the colony off the top of my head. Um, but they're go they go to this colony to investigate this biological agent that is being used and only targets humans apparently. And this Halo ring is, you know, it's a mind from this halo ring or this, uh, this remnant of installation zero four. And it got to where it is because dur when installation zero four was destroyed, it tried to make an emergency slip space jump, which we learned about in halo primordium, well, te technically Krypton, but it was expanded on in primordium. And, uh, basically because it was being destroyed and it didn't make, you know, not the whole, only this one section of the ring, uh, made it and uh it's just happened to be near a human colony so yeah what the hell are they doing here now we saw early we saw in um if you haven't seen i did just recently upload it the uh the behind the scenes we did see the cut the behind the scenes feature we did see that the covenant are going to be in here and that's real nice it's interesting to see the spirit uh this time around instead of like the phantom or something but so you know maybe is this uh, could this Covenant faction not be Jules? I mean, um, I believe we see it in this trailer later on. We do see the uh, the Hesturos uh, Sanghili Zealots, which would indicate Jules, but, you know, maybe there's multiple Covenant factions. Maybe Jules got some sp uh, some spirits in storage, but uh, anyway, I thought that was interesting. They got their hands on a compound that kills humans and nothing else. Medical says they've never seen anything like it. Covenant's found the Holy Grail then, haven't they? And, oh God, yes, that, this biological agent, what is it? What could it be? There's so many theories. Could be Flood, could be something completely new. Um, if you look back at Terminals, uh, I believe it's Terminals 4 through 6 from Halo CEA, uh, there's that, there's that alien ship that crash landed on Installation 04. Maybe that's, maybe that's what this is. Um, 
you know, maybe it was, or it maybe just has something to do with it. Who knows? There's so many possibilities and I love it. I absolutely love it. Get some great scenes in here, you know, people being affected by it. Um, you know, it looks like people getting, uh, decontaminated and that, you know, I kind of like, I kind of like some of the, the banter there. It's like, you know, maybe I guess the covenant have found their whole, the covenants have found their Holy grail. <laughs> yeah. If it is something, I gotta say, if it is something that was purely from the installation, from installation zero four, that was always there, I, I, unless they have a, some really great writing, I cannot say I'd be too happy with that. Cause it's like, if this was already there, why the hell didn't the covenant get it the first time around? I mean, there was only three days on the ring, but still anyway, I'm, that's getting way off topic. So back to the trailer. It's time to take the war to them. Be a bold move. Send a team in. Destroy the stuff. So yeah, we get that. Be those uh, be some beautiful lines. Take the fight to them from Locke. Um, not a whole lot to talk about in that scene. Just some nice, some further shots of the Halo ring. I hear you need a ship. And of course, we get this uh, this nice follow up shot with. Uh, I can't remember the proper name of it right now. Uh, I think it's I think it's the Condor, or the but as they've colloquially called it, the Slipspace Pelican, a Pelican that was outfitted with a Slipspace Drive. So yeah, which uh, explains how they get a lot, you know, get around. Everything's got a Slipspace Drive these days, which makes travel pretty convenient. Only work better alone. Shouldn't fear me. I'm just one man. One man that was a Spartan. Oh my God, dear God, this. Okay, so this this guy. Uh, this character here, the quote unquote, you know, used to be a Spartan guy, you know, former Spartan. His name is Randall Aiken. And I've drilled that into my head over this past, this, this past day, because the speculation just from that line that he used to be a Spartan. Now, as we see in this one scene, he does have, he, he's got these surgical scars on his hand that are very reminiscent of the scars that we see in, um, uh, shoot, what is it? Uh, in the Halo 4 scan trailer. Uh, we'll post a clip here to show you, but, uh, it's, it's very similar. So that would heavily indicate that he's probably a Spartan too, um, a former Spartan too, which, you know, oh my God. Uh, and the popular theory right now is that he is Randall 037. Randall 037 is considered one of the few Spartan 2s that were genuinely K um, sorry, MIA, according to Dr. Halsey. Um, and we see him, what we see him, he's mentioned first in Ghost of Onyx. We get to see him a bit in uh, the short story uh, Pariah from Halo Evolutions, which is about another Spartan sword 066 going rogue. So, um, you know, a lot of, you know, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but, it, you know, it, it's interesting to think about. This, basically, Randall went missing in 2532, according to, um, he, you know, uh, the available sources. And so it makes you wonder, I mean, he certainly would have had a lot of time to develop maybe some anti-UNSC, anti-ONI feelings. Um, but there's always the possibility that he's from a different class. Uh, maybe he's a Spartan one. I mean, we saw, you know, John, that's been tossed around very briefly. I don't, I don't really, I personally subscribe to him being a Spartan too, given the surgical scars, but he could also be a Spartan four, you know, he's a little old for most Spartan fours, but he still could have been one. But yeah, I'm still, I'm definitely leaning towards a Spartan two. There's also the possibility that he was one of the washouts or one of the ones, uh, ba you know, from, from mortal dictata, we know that some of the Spartans that, uh, that, you know, quote unquote died, well, all of them, they didn't actually, they weren't actually cremated as were originally shown in fall of reach. They were, well, for mortal, this is from mortal dictata. I'm uh, sorry. Um, from kilo five and from, uh, from Dr. Halsey's journal, which was included with halo reach the Spartans that quote, you know, that, that died during the procedures, they weren't actually cremated. Like they, like it says they were in fall of reach. They were put in cryo in hopes that they could be resuscitated. And that's actually what happened to Sarah Osman. She was one of those Spartans that had been, that had been died or <laughs> that had died, that had been died. Wow. My grammar today that had died and was later resuscitated, but you know, she was captured by Oni. So maybe they tried that with, maybe this was, you know, maybe this isn't Randall 037. Maybe this is another Spartan that just happened to be named Randall 
that died or was washed that washed out. Maybe he, you know, was captured was uh, uh, scooped up by Oni like Saren Osman was, and then developed some very anti Oni um, feelings from that. There's so many possibilities here. I I'm really excited to discover this guy's origins, but uh, let's move on. Ready to go to hell, Colonel? So, love it there. Get some nice close-ups of the gear. Like I said, it's very ODST-esque, but it's not ODST gear. Looks more closer to an uh, environment suit than a... Uh, not even well, not even an environment suit. It's, I don't know. But I, ho- I kind of hope we get a proper classification for that BDU. Never thought we'd set foot on the Halo ring. Are we really doing this? Stay on mission. So before we get into all that, just I I love that Halo chant, the brilliant use of the classic Halo music, and of course we get that nice profile of the Halo ring going up into the sky. Obviously severely damaged, fire still burning from its destruction back in twenty five fifty two. Um, as if you don't know, all this takes place after Halo Four, so that could mean twenty five fifty late twenty five fifty seven, more likely mid to late twenty five fifty eight, but uh. We don't have a proper timeline or anything like that, so at least yet. So, but something's coming. Got something. What the hell are they? So, oh my god, just it really does scream flood, doesn't it? And. You know, we we got the hints back at uh, the San Diego Comic Con, I believe. It might have been um, something else before that, but I believe it was Comic Con, where it was like Frankie said that into that there could be you know Covenant that were left, you know, left over, left there after the Halo conflict that could have been surviving. But you know, he he was very vague. So whatever it is, oh my, I just I can't wait to figure out something is there, something is living there, and I can't wait to find out what it is. We will not go out like this. And yeah, we are definitely stopped. We got to talk about the this 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 guy disintegrating into what looks like a swarm of worms or shadows. And oh my God, that has sent the Halo community into a frenzy. What is it? What is it? Definitely one of the more popular theories has been let Golo worms, but and there's nothing to say that let Golo couldn't form in this manner. I mean, their own natural gravity is significantly heavier than the standard 1G a a halo ring is. So, you know, forming a gestalt forms, especially bipedal ones, should be incredibly easy for them. But the way they move, that's... I mean, we've never really seen uh, Hunter, you you know, Legolo outside of the the Ngalagolo forms, the Hunters, for uh, those who don't know, you haven't memorized the Covenant species names like I have. <laughs> um, but we've never really seen them outside of the Hunter form very much. And the one time we do see that, it, like, uh, an individual Legolo is in Forward Under Dawn, and it's really not moving very fast. It's kind of, you know, it's... Kind of just... But, I mean, granted, it had just been blown up from its Gestalt form, so you could argue shock, but... I don't think these these are Legolo worms. I'm thinking that they're probably Flood. And, you know, I obviously have a bias that I want this to be the Flood. That is my genuine hope that this all leads back to the, to the resurgence of the Flood. But it's certainly, if it is Flood, it is certainly acting in a manner we have never seen before. Um, but... The, we know that the Flood can act in ways that we have not seen in the games. Um, if you've read the Forerun- any of the Forerunner books, but primarily Primordium and uh, Salentium really detail this in, in uh, detail. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I really want to say it's Flood. I don't... If it's not Flood, I do not think it's Luke Golo, but it's certainly been a popular theory that a lot of fans have latched onto, but I don't think it's that. And there we go. We got our nice, uh, our nice look at uh, this the one Sunghili Zealot. Like I said, it's uh, they got the Hestudos, uh, um, 
zealot armor, but uh, so that does that does indicate that whatever covenant we're going to encounter are going to be part of Jewel's covenant, which should be fine. You know, the more we get to know Jewel, the better. He's supposed to be have a. I'd like him to be a proper enemy, a more developed one. And you can see all those action shots. A lot of shit going to be going down. So, oh man. Um, just, yeah, just a lot of brilliant action shots. And then we get this scene of this Sanghili zealot falling, you know, letting go of this, uh, this sphere, this uh, mysterious sphere. And... Yeah, I gotta think. I gotta think that that's the bio, you know, the biological attack. It, the The series basically starts from what we've get from uh, what information has been released with this biological attack on this human colony that's kind of fallen out from the UNSC or the, uh, the UNSC. You know, they feel like the UNSC has forgotten them over the course of the Human Covenant War, which is kind of forgivable, guys. You know, human genocide and all that. But no, um. And, you know, this biological agent causes, you know, promo uh, prompts Oni to send Locke and, and a few other agents out to investigate it. So I'm guessing that's probably what we're seeing there. But still, it's it's like, oh, yes, you know, yes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going where I'm going with the end of there. But, yeah, it's it's an interesting shot. So I'm guessing that's probably the biological the attack that sets everything that basically sets everything in motion. My question to you, Commander Locke. How will you lead? And for what? And that line there, you gotta wonder, who's saying that? At what point are they saying that? Is, you know, that's something towards the end? Is that something that that preempts the, uh, the whole series of events in the series? You know, when, when, when is that statement made and who's making it? And of course, we get our title and our release date. And oh my God, that beautiful Halo theme! It is brilliantly used throughout this, which gives me hope that the that not that I really ever doubted it, but you know that the the, the musical composition is going to be amazing for this series. So that's my trailer breakdown for Halo, the official Halo Nightfall trailer. I cannot. I mean, I've been excited about this since it was announced. Uh, Ridley Scott's in on it, which I love really Ridley Scott. Mike Coulter's a great actor from my limited knowledge of his background. And from what we've seen here, it's, it is brilliant. And the English actors, um, I don't remember all their names, but I recognize them from some of the British drama that I've watched, notably Doctor Who for the few that have been in Doctor Who. I mean, what, what English actor hasn't been in or what British actor hasn't been in Doctor Who <laughs> just to make a, generalization for no reason but yeah so i am so excited about this i hope you guys are excited about this I, I don't see any reason not to be it looks amazing um so and thanks for sitting down and you know listen to my rambling listening to my ramblings as always um you know like subscribe comment all that just especially comment let me know if you like these they've been very successful in the past i know some people don't like them um, and I'm always looking for criticism so I can improve. And the only way I can improve is, you know, from you guys. So thank you very much. This has been Halo Cannon. And go watch the proper trailer because oh, if you haven't already. Because, oh, my God. Oh, my God. See you next time, Smartens. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.